Warning, this video is going to have adult numbers in it. 69, which is better than 68, where you do me and I owe you one. Ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and rejoice. We are talking about outer space. I'm over at NASA's Pluto New Horizons, talking about NASA's mission to Pluto in the Kuiper Belt. Ultima Thule, all about Ultima Thule, which kind of looks like a piece of poop. Hey, I call him like a theme. If you can't handle that, you should probably go somewhere else. Papa's got a new bag of tricks. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. My lightsaber is my heart. I'm like a Care Bear that will punch you in the face with science. Seriously, bro. Go our news. And professional science presents... Welcome to the dawn of New Horizon. Pluto is almost completely unknown. It is so far away that even the Hubble Space Telescope strains to see it. The New Horizons team used the Hubble Space Telescope, which is like 30 years old, to search for the next Kuiper Belt object to fly by after Pluto. Using observations made with Hubble on June 26, 2014, the science team discovered an object that New Horizons could reach with its available fuel. The object was subsequently designated 2014 MU69. That means I'm going to get a little out of the story, and you're going to get a little out of the story. And it was given the minor planet number 485968, and based on public votes, nicknamed Ultima Thule, which means Beyond the Known World. Ultima Thule is located in the Kuiper Belt in the outermost regions of the solar system, beyond the orbit of Neptune. In the early morning of January 1st, 2019 Eastern Time, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft will fly by Ultima Thule at a distance of 2,200 miles. At this time, Ultima Thule will be at a distance of almost 4 billion miles from the sun. It'll be really cold, but very excited, making this most distant planetary flyby that has yet been attempted, and the first time that a solar system object of this type has been seen close up. Ultima Thule measures approximately 30 kilometers in diameter and is irregularly shaped like a piece of poop. In July 2017, Ultima Thule passed in front of a star as seen from Earth, a stellar occultation, allowing astronomers to determine that its shape is most likely a contact binary, two bodies that are touching, which where's, that's where the 69 comes from. Should I draw you a picture or a close binary system? Two objects that are orbiting each other. <sighs> Can you imagine doing 69 and 0G? That'd be fun. Yeah, this, this, this video is going to be dirty. This video is going to have adult language. An artist's impression of Ultima Thule as a contact binary is shown in the accompanying picture. Oh, we will only know what Ultima Thule's surface looks like once New Horizons has sent back the first picture of it after it has flown by. Although based on observations of similar sized objects, it will almost certainly display impact craters. The lighting environment at its surface is very dim as it receives only about 0.05% of the light from the sun that the Earth does. We do know that Ultima Thule has a reddish color, like almost everything in the solar system and beyond, probably caused by an exposure of tholins, or hydrocarbons, to sunlight over billion years, over billions of years. The flyby will also reveal whether it has any moons, or even a ring system. Ultima Thule belongs to a class of Kuiper Belt objects called Cold Classics, which have nearly circular orbits with low inclinations to the solar plane and which have not been perturbed since their formation perhaps 4.6 billion years ago. Ultima Thule will thereby be the most primitive planetary object yet explored, and will reveal to us what conditions were like in this distant part of the solar system as it condensed from the solar nebula. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Over at the Earth's sky, Pluto craft to encounter the Ultima Thule. New Horizons is the spacecraft that sent back those amazing images of Pluto in 2015. Ultima Thule is the next target, a billion miles beyond Pluto. The encounter is New Year's Day, but start watching now, or we will kick your ass. I look forward to the day when they can take stuff in like 60 frames per second, or even like one frame a second, you know? Ultima Thule is the bright yellow spot in the middle. The two possible flyby distances for the New Horizon are indicated by the two concentric circles. The mission has decided to fly along the closer path toward the target point marked by an X. New Horizons, the same craft that made humanity's first ever visit to Pluto in 2015, is now just days away from its next target, a Kuiper Belt object a billion miles beyond Pluto, nicknamed Ultima Thule. NASA said before Christmas that, after a three-week search, it found no apparent obstacles in the spacecraft's optimal path. Well, what about if one comes and punches it in the ear hole? blindsides it. I guess we'll find out. NASA said before Christmas that oh, no rings, no small moons, no aliens, no potential hazards, 
No swamp gas. No toxic swamp gas. No potential hazards. Thus, New Horizons is now aimed on that optimal path for Ultima Thule for its January 1st, 2019 encounter. And you can start watching now. How? It will be another first for New Horizons, the farthest planetary flyby in human history. NASA TV and the New Horizons social media channels are now online, although there has been some back and forth between because of the government shutdown, but I think they are going to have a few things open, the Jim Birdstein, the head dude of NASA now said. So you'll be able to watch this shit. You can click there for scheduled events on New Year's Eve. All right, try not to repeat the same shit over and again. The spacecraft's path will take it about 2,200 miles from Ultima Thule. Instead of a hazard avoiding detour that would have pushed it three times farther out, the last opportunity to maneuver the spacecraft onto another trajectory was December 18th. As New Horizons gets closer to Ultima Thule, which was officially designated mm, U69 2014, Mother Underneath? No. The mission science team is puzzling over the light reflected from this object. What? The spacecraft has been taking hundreds of images to measure Ultima's brightness, but these recent measurements appear to be at odds with the 2017 observation made when Ultima Thule covered occulted a star as seen from Earth. That 27 observation suggested that Ultima Thule might not be one, but two bodies orbiting around each other, kind of like 69. If there aren't two objects there, the science team said in 2017, then this little Kuiper Belt object might have a pronounced elongated shape, just like your mom. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, oh. Now scientists aren't sure what to think. It's okay. It's 2018. Nobody really knows much anymore. Since repeated observations over the past three months haven't revealed the variations in brightness they'd expect from two bodies or from a spinning elongated body, those variations in brightness are what scientists call a light curve. New Horizons Principal Investigator Alan Stern of the Southwest Research Institute, Sweary, in Boulder, Colorado, commented in a statement, I call this Ultima Thule's first puzzle. Why does it have such a tight light curve? Ooh. We can't detect it. I expect the detailed flyby images coming soon to give us many more mysteries. But I did not expect this, and so soon. Ooh, we got mysteries galore. You gotta love it. There are also various possible explanations, including that Ultima Thule's rotation pole may be aimed right at or close to the incoming spacecraft, or, or Ultima Thule may be a dead alien carcass floating in outer space, or it's a space mirage. Or, Ultima Thule may be surrounded by a cloud of dust that obscures its light and makes the observations difficult to read. Or, there's dust in the lens. Or, University of Virginia's Anne Vibisker, a New Horizons assistant project scientist, suggests an even stranger possibility. Ultima may be surrounded by many tiny tumbling moons, just like your mom. Or these nuts. If each moon has its own light curve, then together they could create a jumbled superposition of light curves that make it look to new horizons like Ultima as a small light curve. Man, all this talk about curves? You're getting my science overheated. While that explanation is also plausible, she added, it has no parallel in all other bodies of our solar system. That alone makes this story super fascinating. New Horizons will make its historic closest approach to Ultima Thule at 5.33 UTC or 12.33 AM Eastern Time on January 1st, 2019. That's what Stern commented. And then Stern commented again. The spacecraft is now targeted for the optimal flyby. Over three times closer than we flew to Pluto. And that's cool. Ultima, here we come. Hey, 2014 MU69. Here we come. We come? Okay. Well, if it's done properly, reconnaissance at the farthest frontier. You got your Pluto system, your Jupiter system, your launch, and your KBOs. Everybody knows Kuiper Belt objects are the sexiest objects in the solar system. All right. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I get videos and shit. You're crazy. That means the production value of this video may go through the roof. Oh, yeah, there's a giant. NASA also found a giant bowl of cat milk on Mars. Maybe one day I'll make a video about that. Okay. You got jokes. So, yeah, kick on over to the NASA New Horizons if you want to check out more info. Or if just write Flat Earth in the comments. If that's your thing. Or suck it. Put that in your pipe and suck it. I get a cookie. You get a cookie. That's what it means. Everybody knows that. Who doesn't like cookies? What is your problem, man? Oh, my God. Somebody doesn't like cookies. Oh, you don't like cookies because they're... 
sexual innuendos. Well, yeah, that's true. We're doing some science, bitches. I'm doing some science in your in your brain, blowing. Join us as we are one day, eighteen hours and seventeen minutes away. Although it'll be closer because I gotta edit this video. Exciting stuff. Almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Almost. We're almost there. <sighs> oh my God. What have I done? I blame it on you. I don't know why. It's the thing to do in 2018. Just blame anybody. Blame somebody. That's what. Okay. I gotta go. Stay cool. God bless everyone. I don't know if you know this. Thor News is for winners. And that's why you're here. To so stick around. I don't know what's going on. Active volcanoes. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. And ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of the month where I survive, thrive, and kick ass with the help of your support and contributions to my PayPal link located in the information box of the video. I love you. Happy New Year. Year 7 of Thor News is going to be better than ever. Stay cool.